Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have done this very dark, very vampy like look. It is perfect for going clubbing or going out to dinner with girlfriends or anything like that. So if you did want to see what products I used, then please keep watching. I've already primed my face and I've already built in my brows. So I'm going to start off with the eyes. I'm going to use some masking tape. I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. And I'm doing this because I don't want it to stick too hard on my face because it's going to pull. So obviously we have to be careful, especially on the eye area because it is so delicate. And I'm just going to put this on my eye so it's like a nice little crisp wing. So I'm going from my lower lash line up to the tail of my brow. And then for the other side, make sure I'm doing the same again. And it matches. It's the same amount of degrees. I don't know. It's like maths. <laughs> I'm going to quickly prime my eyelids, so whenever I usually do my base and then my eyes, I have foundation or concealer already there, so I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Classic Ivory. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyelids, just so this gets rid of those funny looking veins and any uneven skin tone. And I'm just going to use my finger to pat that in. I've never actually started with my eyes before. I've only ever just mucked around with my eyes, but never done my base afterwards. So I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm using my Morphe M504 brush. Just a little, little dip. And I'm just going to set that concealer. This will help our shadows on a lot smoother. Starting off, I'm taking Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. Using the same brush, I'm just going to Run this all over my lid and crease and then take that just a little bit higher. So having the tape in the corner of our eyes is going to give us a nice crisp line once we remove it. I've seen other people do it before and I've just thought mm, maybe it's about time I give it a go, give it a little crack. I'm now going in with Frappe by Makeup Geek. And I'm taking my Morphe M507 for that. So it is a nice little itty bitty baby tapered brush. <laughs> I'm just placing this directly into my crease. So giving the eyes some more detail, definition and depth. And again on the other eye. I'm going in with Simply Marlena. And I'm taking that one on my M505. I'm going to place this one above my crease just so it fades out into a nice pop of colour. I'm now going in with a bitten. And I'll be taking that on my 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush by Zoeva. And I'm going to be directly applying this all over my lid. Going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills self made palette, I'm going to be using hot chocolate. I'm just gonna use my finger and then just go over the top of Bitten just because I want to darken my lid up a little bit more. Going back in with Simply Marlena, and I'm going to be using my Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush. Now that I have the idea of what I want on my eyes, I'm just going back now and brightening where I first placed Simply Marlena. Ooh. Going in with Corrupt by Makeup Geek. I'm using my Morphe M507 brush for this. So it's starting with very, very minimal product because obviously with blacks so you want to build your way up with these. I'm going to be focusing this in my outer V. I'm only going to be coming in about a third into my crease. And with doing this, it'll make our look a lot more smoky. So keeping it quite, like, lifted and, like, slanty. I don't know, slanty, is that a word? Going in with White Lies by Makeup Geek. Going in with my Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. 
and I'm going to highlight underneath my brow bone. To get my Morphe M502 brush, I'm just going to seamlessly blend out. So we don't have any harsh lines where the black is or where it meets the pink. So I'm not using any additional product at all. Just using the colours just to fuse together. So I'm pulling on my it's like my cheekbone where we highlight. So I'm just pulling on that. I'm just going to work this upwards. Same with this side. Pull and lower it. I'm actually really happy with that. <laughs> Taking my 224 Lux Defined Crease Brush by Zoeva, I'm going to softly diffuse this line slightly. I'm going to start on my base now, taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Of course, matching it with my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, I'm going to use these as my base today. So just applying that normally but more careful <laughs> picking up my brand new beauty sponge it is so clean but it won't be by the end of this <laughs> I'm going to be spraying it with some MAC Fix Plus and just pressing that into my skin oh. Going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. A little bit. Just on the bridge of my nose. And on the tip. And then just pat that in. And then just highlight a tiny bit. going to set my face using my Laura Mercier translucent powder next going in with my MAC mineralized skin finish in medium dark Now I'm going to bake going back in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm going to bake under my eyes. Bridge of my nose. Forehead. And we're just going to let that bake. Going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I'm picking up banana. I'm going to contour using Bahama Mama by The Balm. Going back to the eyes, I'm going in with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black. Then going in with my 317 Wing Liner Brush by Zoeva. Hey, look how sharp that is. I'm going to attempt a wing. <laughs> Keeping the product as close to the lash line as possible. I want it to be a very elongated wing rather than just like a normal classic wing. If you know what I mean? So it makes my eyes look a lot more like... You don't even need to try. Even like you don't even need to try and do a ring. Like it just does it itself, pretty much. It's just what? Like what? That was in like two point five seconds. <laughs> Going in with my Rimmel London Liquid Liner in Glamorous. Lining my tight line, my waterline. I'm going to be coating my top lashes with my Fair Real Mascara by Benefit. I'm 
I'm going to be using Bitten by Makeup Geek. And I'm taking my Zoeva 226 smudge up brush. And I'm going to run this right underneath my lash line. From the outer corner all the way to inner corner. Next I'm taking Simply Marlena and I'm using the same brush. Running this colour right in the centre. Just to make her eyes pop. Next I'm taking Corrupt. I'm using my 237 Detail Shader by Zoeva. I'm just smoking out the very, very, very corner of my lash line. Going in with my Demi Wispies by Ardo. My absolute favourite. <laughs> going back in with my Rimmel London liner. I'm going to hide my lash band. Going back in with mascara, I'm going to blend together my natural lashes and the falsies, and then my bottom lashes. Now it is finally time to highlight! <laughs> I've really been loving this one lately, it is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. It is a true gold colour and it is just amazing! What I love about this highlighter is that... <laughs> What I love about this highlighter is that it is quite natural on the skin, but at the same time it's very like ooh, in your face because it doesn't pull away the attention from your eye makeup or your lips or whatever you want to be the main focus, but it just gives like that natural healthy skin glow, especially for those with a darker skin tone. It really just compliments the look I reckon and doesn't pull the attention away from anything so I'm obviously going to pack more wait I'm just loving it loving it loving it loving it now I'm going in with my extra dimension skin finish in Oh Darling by MAC I can't help myself I need extremities extremity I need to be glowing from the heavens. Oh. I'm about to put it on my face. <laughs> on my cupid's bow. Inner corners. Going to do a quick little bake underneath my contour. Picking up my Mary Luminizer Up by the Balm. Time for lips now, and I'm going to be doing something so bold, so dark, so wow. I'm going to be using these two beauties. So, I have got Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star, and it is very dark, deep red. Hence the name Unicorn Blood. It is a very blood-like colour. And then here I've got Dominatrix. So I just picked this one up recently. And this one is a true brown. So both very dark deep colours. This will make this look turn very vampy because I will be attempting a ombre lip. So first I'm going to be lining my lips just because these colours I don't want them to bleed at all. So I'm going in with my MAC Lip Liner in Spice. It's just a classic nude. So I'm just going all over my lip and just overdrawing it slightly. So I could just leave it here but I want to make it dark. Starting off with Dominatrix, I'm going to put this around the edges of my lips. And then taking Unicorn Blood and just placing this in the centre. Final step of this look is blush and I'm going in with my Blani's Base Blush in Bella Rosa. Just to sort of complement the eyes, how it's burnt into that gorgeous pink. Just dusting that on the apples of my cheeks. One final spray of MAC Fix Plus. 
that's the end of my tutorial guys i hope you did enjoy it this look is very deep and dark and very sexy <laughs> If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!